have finally made it on site to my retention pond job. Uh, and now I kind of get out and do my walk around after I get that loaded with the first load of junk to haul off. Uh, I'm sitting on the dissipator pad that they have coming off the parking lot that you can maybe kind of tell is a little silted in and I think I don't know I could be wrong I think it was uh, built a little high originally so and now I'm having to dig out all the riprap and sediment and junk haul it off and then we'll put fabric down and line it with new riprap problem is to dig it down where it needs to be the water is going to run <laughs> back in from the pond so uh. I think I'm gonna get a little more work from this pond because this is one I was explaining in my last video uh, which I'll show you when we get out there it's been kind of the morning drain box has been removed from the actual pond. It's like sitting 50 feet outside the pond. I can't, I don't, I don't know what that's all about, but uh, anyway, I was contacted by a pond management company out of Durham, North Carolina. And it's not the same one that Chris does work for. I checked, I texted him and asked him, but he said it wasn't. So, like I said, the dissipator pad is failing. It needs to be replaced. And then they want the pond mowed down because it's just holding water and it's full of cattails. So after I mow that down, I guess I can send them pictures so they can get in touch with whoever they need to here and take a look at it. And they will assess uh, what needs to be done or what they want to do after that. So. I'll spin around real quick and then uh, you may be able to kind of tell, I don't know. This is, it's not working. You can see there's probably about, I don't know, four or five inches of water. And there's sediment and grass grown over the top of here. So this pad is actually supposed to be down flush, or the riprap is supposed to be flush with the top of the parking lot. Because the whole idea is the water runs down the parking lot and then it hits the riprap, kind of spreads it out, slows it down, and then it drains into the retention pond. But it's a little higher than that, so it doesn't really work. And they told me I could set some of this stuff aside and try to reuse it, but I'm just hauling it out of here. Because <clears throat> that's <laughs> another part of it. They have a real tight time frame. Like they sent me an email last Thursday with what they wanted done in the scope of work, wanted me to give them a price. I got back to them either that evening or I think Friday. I emailed them back my price. Didn't hear anything until 4.30 on Monday of this week that I was awarded the job but it needed to be done by the following Monday. So, and it's rained all week and I've had other stuff to do. So, it's Thursday, so it needs to be done in just a few days, so. But then the part I was messing with this morning is they emailed me, I guess it was last night, like a work report or something that I have to have somebody here locally look over and sign. But I didn't see that till like eight o'clock this morning. And I was at home trying to get it to print off. I got a new printer for some reason. It does not want to work. My, it says it's not hooked to my computer, but I got a cable that runs from the computer to the printer. So I ended up having to call Erin and she printed it off at work. And then I ran by the bank and picked that up. Got to the shop, had a flat tire on my trailer. So I got that addressed and then uh, I had to put the mulcher on the trailer. I, this was already loaded up from yesterday. And then I had to go get a fitting because one of the fittings when I had the mulcher last time kind of rounded off. So I took it off and took it into the shop. I 
where I, my dealer where I rented it from and was telling them about it and stuff, so. They were gonna get another one on there, but I didn't go pick the mulcher up. Dad grabbed it when he was picking the roller up next door. And they got the one fitting I needed for the end of the excavator, but they did not get the one that goes in the actual mulcher, so. I had to run by my local hydraulic shop here. Luckily they had one, so. And then I had to go all through all the rigmarole to get somebody to answer the gate out here and let me in and all that fun stuff, so. <laughs> Good times, so yeah, it's like 11 o'clock and we can finally start some work, so. I understand some of the paperwork stuff, but some of it kind of cracks me up because it's, for at least for me, maybe I don't do enough of it. It always seems like it entails more work and it's never as easy as what they make it sound like it's going to be. So that's why I was laughing this morning. I was like, here I am wasting time. I could be actually getting the job done so I can print a piece of paper off to give somebody in the office here that they can sign off when the job is complete. They probably don't even know what I'm really doing. So, uh, I don't know, good times, right? And it keeps raining off and on, which really is fine on this part, because we're working off the pavement and uh, we're just gonna put new rib right down. So, maybe gonna be a little muddy when I start mowing the pond down. But And I've got a mow right up there along the fence, so I'm kind of stoked about that. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get him sent off and then uh, try to get this thing shaped up. But yeah, you can see right here, it's all silted in or dirt, which it could have silted in over time. And then has this grass and stuff growing on it, but it won't let any of the parking lot drain off, so. We're gonna take it all down and then I'll get it cut down probably six inches below that grade so that rock can sit in there. I'm just worried without having the pond dredged out, I may almost be down to the bottom of uh, the pond where it's in there. But we'll get out there outside the fence and show you later. But yeah, it's slowly draining out, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna jump back in there and kind of pile this stuff up and kind of get my edges it's kind of going to come straight and then just maybe arc it about over here to my uh stand or whatnot and then i may like i said i may load one in mine and then he should be back by then and load another one and then we'll uh throw the weed guard out in the mud and uh, start putting some rip wrap in
Well, I got more showers and uh, I was noticing there's just as much water running in from the uh, neighbor's property <laughs> as what there is in this parking lot. So here's some more of their issue here. Is, uh, this whole area has got some uh, <laughs> drainage work.
Well, here is the new dissipator pad. So got, uh, I hauled four loads of junk out and brought in three loads of the rip wrap. I kind of cut up a little bit higher and tried to slope that because there was kind of a little bit of a berm or a hump there. But uh, we also noticed there's a retention pond over there and it looks like their drain comes out and goes right along the edge of the fence and runs in right here at the edge. So they're getting some water from uh, their neighbors, but uh, I got it down flush with the parking lot like they wanted and it kind of slopes down. The only problem is now the, we had so much rain this afternoon and without this pond being dredged out, the level of it's so high that it's just backfilling uh, up in here. kind of see I mean there's a ton of water in here so yeah it's gonna definitely need some more uh, work on this site but there's not much I can do right now with it uh, backing in there like it is but like I said I'm gonna probably let it drain down I don't know, I'll check it tomorrow or Saturday because there's no point to me in trying to come over here first thing in the morning and mow it if the water level is this high then when it does drain down they're going to say that i didn't mow it down enough so we'll get a day or two to kind of drain down and then uh i got to get them a quote wrote up for actually dredging this whole thing out and kind of cleaning it back up so there may be some future work over here which i like i enjoy this little job right here but yeah i think it came out pretty good and uh we kind of got to see it in action we just need that pond cleaned out but we'll get the 2150 loaded up chained down and be on it may do a little bit at the starbucks site tomorrow if it i think the rain is finally done for a little while so we got a temporary construction drive to put in uh some trees to take out and some junk to haul off so we'll kind of work on some of that and probably hit it pretty heavy and probably hit it pretty hard on uh monday see if we can't start knocking that thing out so we will just catch you guys later.